Hey guys, Reese Field here. So today we're going to talk about how to freeze uh, carrots. So I picked these out of our garden yesterday, and I've peeled them, and I've, uh, sorry, I washed them, I peeled them, and I've uh, dimed them into little pieces, and I boiled this water, and I put them in, and they've been boiling for three minutes, and when this timer goes off, I'm going to take them out and put them in this ice bath. What I've done is I just put water in here, just put lots of ice until this water is freezing cold. What well, that'll do is it'll stop them from cooking, because otherwise they'll just keep cooking it from their own heat. So when this goes, I'll just turn it off, take the carrots out and put it in this ice bath, and then I'll put them in bags and drain them and put them in the freezer. So when this beeps, I'll take these out because they're boiling pretty good. Sweet. All right. I'm just gonna put them in here to instantly stop them from cooking. <clears throat> This was about 12 carrots that I got from my garden yesterday, so they're fresh. You don't want to cook them too much, otherwise they'll turn soft. I'm just wanting to cook them enough to kind of get rid of the bacteria so that they're good to eat. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, after I get all the rest of these out, I'm going to drain them, get away all this cold water, because I'm not going to put it with the water in the freezer, because then it just turns into one big solid ice block. I'm just going to put the carrots in the, in the freezer, because I don't want an ice block. Okay, good enough. I'm just going to strain this real quick. carrots that have been boiled for three minutes and have been drained. So now I'm just going to put them in bags and put them in the freezer. And in the freezer these can last for up to a year so I don't have to eat them now. They've been cooked, all the bacteria is out of them, so they're good to eat. Okay, who cares if there's a little bit of ice in there. Okay. And these are not freezer bags, these are just normal Ziploc bags, the gallon size. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it, I'll put it in two bags, uh, kind of overlap them, then it'll roughly be the same. Freezer bags are more expensive anyway, so this is cheaper. Okay, that's that. Now, also, I want these to kind of be vacuum sealed too, because if there's air that could mess them up, so I just want them to kind of be as tight as we can, so I'm just going to kind of... Try to get all the air out as I can. Close it a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to try sucking all the air real quick. Okay, so that's pretty much sealed. I'll put them in another bag real quick. There we go. I'll put this in the freezer, and that is how you freeze carrots.